So we're on our way to pull up on the homie Pete Scott, man. He's doing an art installation at Soho. Um, they devote like each corner of the building to artists every few months. So he's doing the art installation at Soho. Um, should be pretty dope. Can't wait to see what he's put together. What made you choose these pieces? Well, you know the Buddha and the, and the train, that, that's like, that's my, my niche, my symbol, you know, like, those, those are symbolic things. So like, I just, I wanted to represent one on one world and one on the other world. That's, that's my stamp, you know what I'm saying? But I also, you know, I like, I like to use both of them because for me, they're both symbols of like, peace, universal love, positivity, stuff like that. Crazy thing is, ironically, tomorrow is Children's Day in Japan. And in Japan, what they do is they fold a lot of trains. And that's like a way of like meditating and getting in your, 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 you know, in your zen, like, you know, finding your center. So they say like, fold like a hundred origami trains or whatever. So a lot of people have been seeing the crane, they've been like, did you do that on purpose? And I was like, nah, but you know, it do, it kind of coincides, you know? kind of happened organically, but it's cool that it happened, right? But yeah, like, you know, the crane represents that, and so does the Buddha, and it's, it's kind of like, I use both of them with that same thing. Nah, that's dope, because the city could definitely use a lot more peace and love and all of that, you know? Yeah, universal love, man. Unity. That's what it's about. So, what will you be putting on this wall? On this side, um, on this side, I'm gonna be doing like my own, um, what I like to call my origami pattern, okay. and that's just like a lot of geometrical shapes yeah. that kind of are reminiscent of like paper folding, hard yeah. edges, clean lines, stuff yeah. like that. You know, very colorful. Yeah. And then what I do to add that like urban flavor, that that graffiti, I kind of put like tags and like different graffiti inside the geometrical shapes. And that's kind of like my, you know, my other signature style that I try to incorporate in it. So, like you will see on the other wall, the front side is just that, the origami pattern, and then on the side is the crane. Yeah. So it's basically going to be the same thing. In fact, I got it on my phone. So this. Oh, that's super dope. That's what's going to be on the, on the front right here. I might add a little bit more detail, and then this was what the other side is. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of do the digital rendering. Yeah. I take a picture of whatever wall I'm doing, yeah. do the digital rendering, sketch it out, shit like that. Yeah. And then that's why I, that's how I know my placement. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I look at this as a reference. Are you cold with the graphic design too? I'll do a little something, a little something, man. <laughs> oh, that is shit. so cool. Yeah. Do you have a gallery that you yeah. I, I actually own a gallery. You don't, you don't have, have any cards at all? I, yes. So I had a bunch of cards yes. and people been asking me for cards all day. Yeah. For the day I ran out, I will have more again tomorrow. Uh, so where's the gallery? I, it's on uh, 18th Street, 643 West 18th. It's called Niche Gallery. Okay. Or Niche. 18th. 18th. Yeah, yep. Right, that spot was dope, man. That was like. I remember that because that was my first time getting in Lacuna and then seeing your space. I'm like, yo, this is dope. I don't know what this is, but it's dope. Because it was like two spots side by side, right? And yeah. it was like a door in the middle and yeah, yeah. I don't think nothing was like that after you left that. Yeah, yeah. Because I like, I had the ability to build my space out. Yeah. Like I was I was over there with Hebrew and his father and, uh, and Zobi. And then he was moving, he was like, yo, I'm moving to this building, it's way better. If you want to stay here, you could, but if you want to go over there, I could plug you. So I was like, word. So I went over there, saw it, and they was like, yeah, you know, they was they was selling me on, on man, they was like, you, we could build it out, we could do whatever we want. And it was super low at the time. So I built, I, I built an art studio, mm. Hair studio connected mm. to a gallery space with the French doors and shit was dope, man. You wanna know something ill? And I'm sitting there thinking about it. You had it. It was like, bro, this is like November 2011, like middle to end of that month. Mm. Cause I had gotten Lacuna like 11, 11, 11. I remember the day. Mm. I was still working my job and I was excited to see this building. And the first event that I ever went to in there was at yeah. your spot. 
Oh yeah? Yeah, and when I and you had like a it was something going on. I remember you had chicks, two chicks sitting at the front, they had a table, they was passing out the little drink tickets. One of the chicks we wanted to be real cool. And when I left, that shit fucked me up so much, it just changed the way I was seeing shit and then so the next day, I like that was so much to take in. And then the next day I'm sitting at my job, like these girls in here, I work with like all chicks, right? I'm working in the cell phone stuff. So. And they sitting up here talking about some shit they did at the club, baby daddy shit. I'm like, I just felt like I was dying mentally. <laughs> like literally, it was two chicks. I won't say their names. <laughs> Shout out to them. But they was in the back, like in the back office part, like putting their lashes on. And I'm like, yo, this shit is fucking, I'm fucking dying you, in here, you, man. Listen, you, the world that I had just came from, yeah. and I knew nobody that I was around had ever been exposed to nothing like that, so I couldn't even talk about it. Yeah. So I'm sitting in here really feeling like I'm dying, because I just, all I can think about is that event and getting back to that shit. Yeah. Right after that, I left the job, bro. I wouldn't leave it after, didn't even feel like my paperwork the right way. <laughs> Gone. Gone. That's dope that it inspired you in that way, bro. Yeah, bro. That's you helped me dope. quit my job, brother. You don't even know that. That's what's up. <laughs> Not that's what's up, like, no, that's, that's what's, what's up, up, right? I ain't mad. I've been out here just, I ain't telling you know, motherfuckers to quit their jobs, but hey. you do got to follow what's, what you're passionate about. You got to follow your friend, right? At. You got to follow your friend. Oh, yeah. And I remember it being a great turnout. Some vibes was right. The energy was right. There's some nice women in there. Yeah. Yeah, Lacuna, Lacuna was legit for a minute, man. Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. I used to go. And I remember at one point in time, man, shit got a little tricky and they was trying to kick me out of there. Boy, I was not going. I was like, man, I put way too much way into this. But you be talking about getting me up out of here. Nah, that's not happening. Yeah, man. It, it really could have been something great, but I guess it was great for the time that it was. Yeah. I feel like it could have been, you know, lasted a lot longer, but yeah, yeah, man, yeah. the concept is still dope. Just dope industry people just a, a melting pot of creators like you know what i'm saying that's like that's really what i'm trying to re like not recreate that but create something like that a world where people can just go and see shit that they into because i feel like this is the world of this is the era of entrepreneurs and creators because everybody had to create something like they say you know the job that's highest in demand didn't even exist four years ago. Mm -hmm. So you think about a person going to college their freshman year, by the time they get to be a senior, whatever they going to school for, it's like the whole world has changed. It's not even the, the end thing no more. Yeah, no, that's so you true. gotta create your opportunities. You gotta get out here and be creative. So in the world of creators, and that being a theme and energy, we need to show the world of real creators who are out here creating yeah. and creating their way every single day. Yeah, and when true. people see how real that is, it'll just, you know, inspire them to like, you know what, I could do that shit too. If he going through that, I go through that, or well, I feel the same way he feel, but he out here doing it, I could do that too. Well, that's good that you putting together a platform like that to inspire people because you know, that's how I feel about the gallery. Yeah. You know, I never, initially it wasn't about me having a gallery to promote other artists. It, yeah. it, it, actually that gallery space at Lacuna wasn't even, the idea of it was not for it to be a gallery. Yeah. It was, the idea of it was for it to be a platform for me to show my work. Yeah. Because I just couldn't get into no gallery, right? Mm. Motherfuckers had me boxed out. So I was like, all right, I'm create You're my always own lane. You're right. <laughs> I'm gonna create my own lane. So I created my own lane and then it, it turned, it spent into that. But then I got instant gratification by giving other artists, yeah. like you said, yeah. like, getting people inspired to create, yeah. getting people inspired to, or giving them the motivation to want to be on that. Yeah. And that, that in itself is, is gratifying, you know what I'm saying? So I just think that's the best thing you could do. Like, honestly, the best thing a person could do in the world is to create something that wasn't here before. Yeah. But like you serve your purpose as a human. <laughs> that's dope. Yeah. So how long will this installation be up? They saying a month. But we gonna get some protesters out here to keep it up for Most them. definitely. <laughs> I get a couple people, we'll pull up, <laughs> make some signs, get out here, yeah, get back. Yeah. Keep the peace got up for more than a month. But yeah, they said a month. Well, let me get back to this, man. Get this shit, get, I want to try to enjoy some of this good weather. Yeah, too, bro. Man. Already, bro, I already know. All right, bro. Appreciate it. All right, so we just finished chopping it up with Peace Scott, man. He's super, super dope. Super, super dope work, man. You gotta come check it out. We right here at Soho House, Chicago, right on Green Street. If you in the city, it'll be up for a month. You're coming through, passing through, come check it out. You'll love it. 
follow us on Instagram at ElevationWW. Log on online, Elevation Worldwide.